Moving on, uh, Joshua Timmons asks, how would you fix the government disobeying the Constitution? I'd, um, I'd get a new government. Um, pretty much is what I would do. Uh, Josh, I'd get, a, I'd get a new government. I'd get a government that, be, that obeyed the law. And I'm going to make short work out of this one because there is no more complex answer to it. And in order for me to explain how you would get rid of the government, I'd have to get into a lot of things that I spent a lot of time talking about and I don't have time to talk about tonight. But the short form is... Um, you need somebody who understands messaging to the point where they can make the case to the American people in terms that they understand in simple terms, plain terms, story terms, emotional terms. Make the case that the government obeying the law is important. And until somebody does that, we're going to get worse and worse and worse. So make the case that the government obeying the law is important to the American people through messaging that has to happen first. And then when people in the government don't obey the law, call them out and, and get, a, get a new government. Of all the questions here, Joshua, that's the hardest one to fix, obviously, because you've got to swim upstream against the media and, the, and, the, and entertainment and all that stuff. And I understand all that. I just don't know what else to say about it. Um, you, could, um, you could put a few of them in jail uh, or threaten to. I don't believe in witch hunts, and I don't believe in the idea of tracking down our political enemies and getting even with them, but I wouldn't mind bringing charges against everybody who could be shown to have intentionally violated the Constitution. Bring charges against them, bring charges against them, take them to court, win, and then sentence them to, uh, you know, time served in Congress. But make the case that they broke the law, and, and we are not punishing them only because we don't want to go after them. We don't want to be a banana republic, you know, seeking revenge. But, yeah. And, frankly, the way you get people who who understand the Constitution, the way you fix the government disobeying the Constitution is you get representatives who obey the Constitution. And I've said this since, I don't know, my God, since, since I started writing. That means, for me, let's get large, large numbers of veterans into the government. Let's just get as many veterans into the government as we can because they understand this better than any other single group of people in the country that I can be aware of. Carson Mueller says, uh, would you spend time and money to restore the constitutional republic we once had or would you use time and money to find a new place to start over? Uh, you know, Carson, it's funny you say that because in the darkest days of the Obama uh, administration before he really started making so many mistakes that it was just a giant goat rodeo, um, we uh, a bunch of my friends that I had to talk about that. And the talk basically, I never really took it seriously, but the talk was where would you go? And my feeling is I would go someplace remote and cold. If I had to set up another government someplace, I'd choose Antarctica. And I choose Antarctica because Antarctica is very difficult. And it's only that Antarctica is 100 million times easier than the moon or Mars that I would choose Antarctica. I think even Alaska is too close to, to these people. But look, what we all came up with is this. This is what many of us came up with is, let's just say you wanted to start over. Where would you go? I'm not starting a republic in the jungle. I'm just not. I'm not. Maybe other people want to, but I'm not. I am not going to live in Guyana or Honduras or in the back of Africa or in, you know, parts of Southeast Asia. I don't want, I don't want to have my republic in a jungle. And, um, and I think North America is the most beautiful place in the world. Uh, New Zealand's very nice, too. Um, but no, I'm not giving this country up, and I'm not going to walk away from it. Uh, it, it. You know, you do need time and money to restore the Constitutional Republic. And you know what, folks? You know, you know what you need to spend the time and money on? Is you need to spend the time and money on movies. I know that sounds self-serving because I'm a filmmaker, but when you get right down to it, it's not self-serving. I'm not a filmmaker to make money. I'm a filmmaker because telling stories is what I like to do, and telling stories about America is what I like to do more than anything else. And it's the stories that win people's votes and win people's votes and win people's votes. So if you really want to save America and dedicate time and money to it, then put it into movies. Make it make people tell stories about why this country works and what's great about it. And and. I don't want to live in another geographical location, and I sure as heck don't want to set this whole thing up again. I don't see any reason to. You know, we get so discouraged because this 10% or 5% of the population that really controls the media, the music, uh, you know, the news media, um, movies, and, and now politics, these hardcore progressives are 5% of the country. 
the other 45, 46, 47 percent that vote with them only vote with them because we've done such an appallingly bad job of making our case. I could flip this entire country. I could have this country voting 95 to 5 if I could talk to every single American individually for an hour. Um, but I don't get to do that. So, yeah, you know what? Let's just let's just keep it here and take it here. And, 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 and I'm, I don't want to give it up and I don't want to go anywhere else. Um, recover the culture and you recover the country. It's really just that simple.